Yes, hello and welcome to my channel, Bastel Kista. Nice to see you. Greetings. Yes, I did mention that I was planning to construct another battery. This time a vertical model. Last time I had a horizontal version. If you're interested, feel free to watch these videos. Yes, in principle, I'm available again. Square stainless steel tubes. I've cut it to the correct size. Wick welded. Got back on top. In this instance, the nuts are also re-welded. And then using screws and my stainless steel plate, then I apply pressure to the cells again, and subsequently, I tense them, almost under this pressure again. Since this tensioning system has proven to be highly effective, I have naturally implemented it for this battery as well. This is now the frame or casing of my standing model. This is fundamentally similar to the horizontal version, except I've added a few feet at the bottom. The one lying, lying there appeared as such. Once more, using a thread where I can apply pressure on the individual cells with the pressure plates located at the top and with this stainless steel plate. In the alternate version I had provided below, wooden panels inside. Of course, the batteries were inside, making it extremely heavy. This time it stands. That's why I simply have a plexiglass back panel here. I still had the perspex. That's why I utilized this and didn't produce anything of the sort. Other components, such as pressure and insulation plates, are visible at the back without obstruction. Yes, I've printed them all. So now I'll demonstrate where this new battery should ideally be placed. Well, here you see. Regardless, here is the standard version. There. How to arrange them later. Apologies, but you haven't provided any text to be shortened. Please provide the text you want to be shortened. Should I place them away? I don't know that yet. I'll need to take a look. Accordingly, I still need to install the BMS. I can see that now. However, one thing I can assert is that I prefer the standing version over the lying one. I'm likely to transform it into a standing version as well, given it's not particularly large. Certainly, I'll manage to accomplish a lot down here in this small corner. And yes, I believe it looks good too. A bit better looking, I think. Standards are high, but I'm still contemplating that all the time in world. Yes, I may have room for an additional battery at the back if I transform it into an upright position. Here is the lie I have. There is still the possibility of accommodating at least 123, but then I can see that. And you can also observe it when you watch. In any case, I will always do it. Condensed into another brief video. Now the back wall, it's made of perspex. It's simply resting here among these pines. Stainless steel. No escaping it, that's enough. Yes. The, and as I said, you only have the task to be isolated. That's all I need to do. I don't have to hold on to anything. And yes, let's put them down then. So the next thing I have here, the plates where the batteries are positioned. Print is thicker. Their increased stability is well known. And they come down here. So, and this is it. Well, then I printed the profile pages here about three millimeter thick. And indeed, the beauty of it is undoubtedly that you can utilize the 3D printer to create exactly what you need, as I've previously mentioned. Yes, if you know, dimensions are a bit different. Make one side four millimeters and the other side three millimeters, then it will fit perfectly. So you have all sorts. The cells are now coming in. They then slightly hold the entire thing. So, number one. Number two. So 
between the cells. An insulation plate is also included. The sides are naturally also protected. And on and top of the plate, also the plate on the cell, come here to insulation plate. They are eight strong. And then it continues with the next two cells. Then the insulation panels again. And cells. So I'm currently progressing rapidly in my work. Well, this is what the assembled tower looks like. There is a slim band at the top here. I'll need to trim it to the correct size shortly. And here I have a small gap. I'm going to use screws to reinforce the structure, specifically the cells, which are considerably deep. So that we, there, yes, nearly flush. So they come in here. I then tighten them using torque to ensure uniform pressure throughout. You can already see that. Now it's all spiraling downwards. That's the way it is. Works well. Standing or lying down. Click here from four hand polished chrome nickel steel assembled. The next item I have here is the bracket. I feel my BMS. Of course, I now need to figure out where I can place them. Become such. I still trust my BMS. Yes, here we have a good piece. Here it comes. Probably. Here at the front with a holder. I believe we can secure it in some way. And also my balancer. Fine compare. I'm really looking forward to it, how it works. And yes, these are the next ones. The steps I will take. Yes, and of course, I hope you'll watch me as I finish building my battery once more. I trust you enjoyed watching me, and naturally, I would be delighted if you join me again next time. Be sure to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any videos. If you haven't subscribed to me yet, please do so. And... Please leave a comment if you require further information and thumbs up if you enjoyed it naturally. Then I would say enough of the chatter, take care, and until my next video, goodbye.